Hey brothers and sisters, how y'all doing? Hope you guys are doing fabulous. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Michelle and today I want to share with you my natural hair favorites of 2017. So last year, you guys, I barely touched my hair, to be honest with you. I think I've now come to the point where I really know what works for my hair. I don't really try too many new things unless they're promising. So the products that I'm going to show you are things that I loved and that I haven't talked about before. I will link other videos that I've talked about at length with like the best products for dry hair, the best products for 4C hair, and I think I also have a video about like the best brands for 4C hair. So please check out those videos because it'll be a lot more elaborate as far as the products that I'm talking about. Today I'm bringing you three different brands and two products from each brand that I really loved this year. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now these two products came from a brand called Avlon and Avlon is like the parent company for Care Care, which is a really huge hair brand. They do products for relaxed hair and natural hair now and they had a new line and they reached out to me to review a product. Now, when I reviewed the product, it was great because at the time, my hair was going through so much drama. It was itching, my scalp was on fire, so it was like heaven sent. And I used it, loved it, and then kind of just put it away. But because I haven't been really in my hair much this year, my scalp had a lot of issues. And these products were actually my go-to products every single wash day because of how well they worked. And it is called the Affirm Care Scalp Therapy. I have the shampoo and the conditioner. And I have a full video where I reviewed the product and I showed you like how it works. So please check that out. But this is a treatment shampoo, the treatment conditioner, and it's really formulated and medicated for those of you guys who have any issues with your scalp. Dry scalp, itchy scalp, dandruff, flakiness, all of that. It's extremely good. I cannot stand the way it smells. I can't stand it. I think it smells so nasty. <laughs> and that's why I was shocked that I kept using it because I couldn't stand the way it smelled. But the performance was so good that I couldn't deny it. Like I needed it for my hair. So they're actually almost finished at this point, but you get a lot of product. They're both eight ounces. Wow, is it only eight? It looks so big for eight ounces. Mm, okay. Well, I guess you're not really getting that much product. But I do believe it's something that needs to stay in my rotation because when I do have that issue, I need it gone immediately. And I need to know that I have products that can address scalp issues right away. So I loved, 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 loved these products. The next products are from a brand that I've talked about already at length and it's called Obia Naturals. They are a natural hair care brand. They're a small black owned business and I'm super proud because they're regular people just like you and I who saw a need for hair products to address dry hair, dry hair. A lot of companies promise to address dryness and a lot of companies fail. This brand, I mean, like clockwork, it does not matter. It always works for my hair. It has kept my hair super, super soft without feeling greasy or without feeling like too mushy and yucky. It was very, very difficult for me to figure out which products I wanted to share with you as my favorite because to be completely honest with you guys, I would have brought every single product and shared it with you because honestly, the products are that good. It, it's you can't even pick so I'm just gonna share with you the ones that I really probably haven't talked about too much in the past and one of them is the Babasu deep conditioner this deep conditioner is everything to me it's it keeps your hair super duper soft it is in a jar and it smells very good it's a light perfumey smell that's not overpowering it's very elegant I love the way it smells oh it smells so good and it's super thick. It just really softens the hair and strengthens it and it just prepares it for whatever style you're gonna do. I also have the detangler and that works just as well as the deep conditioner as far as softening my hair. And then I have the curl moisture cream which is their leave-in conditioner. I don't like the fact that it's in a jar. I do wish that it was in like a squeezy tube because it would make it so much easier to use. But nonetheless, performance wise, fabulous. Fabulous. For those of you who have kinky hair, it's going to be godsend. It doesn't immediately seem like it's really doing that much of anything if you compare it to something else, but leave it on for a few minutes and touch your hair and see how soft it is. 
or wake up one morning with your hair feeling super dry and strawy and you gotta go to work or you gotta just get out of the house slather it on put on your wig or whatever and when you come back in the evening your hair will be super super soft so i really do love this leave-in conditioner and i was really impressed by it because i didn't want to like it because it wasn't a jar but it was so good so this is something that you guys should definitely look into if you haven't tried it already and i really only wanted to bring you guys two products from each brand because i didn't want the video to be too long but i i just with this particular brand i could not pick what i wanted to share with you guys this curl hydration spray from Obia Naturals fabulous I have been treating my hair like a second-class citizen okay <laughs> just so you know I have not been really paying that much attention to it so I keep my hair in twists during the week and they're dry halfway through the week I need moisture halfway through the week and I just spritz this all over my hair and immediately moisture it has glycerin in it so if you live somewhere that's really cold right now this would not be the time to purchase it it would probably be better for the summer but I live in LA and it's not a big deal it's always warm here so it's fabulous it makes my hair so crazy soft crazy soft sometimes you got to be careful because it gets a little too soft so you definitely have to make sure you're balancing out your protein but even on my edges when I've used it just like around the perimeter of my hair and I put my gel over it I didn't even know I could get curls like that I did not even know but it gives the most beautiful curl definition and I'm scared to run out because I think I want to try a wash and go which I have never done since being natural ever 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 but I want to spray like my whole entire head with this thing and rake through a gel and just see what it does I love it it does have argan oil and all of her products are all pH balanced so she's a chemist she knows what she's doing your stuff is legit next are two products from Shea Moisture Shea Moisture is always in the rotation um like I said their products you know hit or miss they've been changing formulas but last year the two products that I was reaching for the most were the jojoba oil and ukuba butter track tension and itch relief serum and this comes in this little this little bottle right here and it comes with a little squeezy tube now it's pretty much almost done at this point because I use it so much I rely on it so much but you know sometimes when I have products I like gush over them I'm like oh I love you so much oh it's so good I put it out somewhere all pretty so that I can see it and I use it all the time and then there's some products where it's like oh my god my scalp itches where is that thing and you just find it somewhere and you just squeeze it into your hair and you throw it somewhere and that's kind of like how this was I didn't realize how much I was using it and how much it was actually working for me I wasn't treating it with the proper respect that it deserves but this is actually a really good product for when you have an itchy scalp and you need it taken away immediately you don't have time to wash your hair you don't have time to be doing no scalp massages you just want something to put in and run out the house plus there's no weird scent with this you know with certain oils like jamaican black castor oil and some other oils the scent is so strong that you just don't want it in your hair because you're going out like you're leaving your house you don't want other people being subjected to those smells that they don't understand so i understand that this product actually does have a smell it has a scent but it's like a perfumey scent so it won't bother anybody who's going to be close to you if you have to go out during the daytime it relieves your itchy scalp and i really love it and next from shea moisture is the omega 369 rescue and repair curl defining smoothie now the original curl defining smoothie that came in that pink jar first of all the smell is like too strong for me um, but it didn't work for my hair never liked it I know people raved about it they loved it but with my hair texture it was a no-go this particular one the omega 369 the smell is beautiful it's a very perfumey scent though it does smell like perfume and it's very overpowering it's a very strong smell but it smells like perfume so when you wear it you do not have to use perfume and if you have a significant other or whatever the case might be and you're laying on someone's chest or your hair is like right in someone's face they will enjoy the smell because it smells so good i use this for twisting it's a very thick 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 cream as you can see just when you open it it's like <gasps> the smell is super strong but the smell does die down after about a day so it doesn't linger forever i love it for curl definition the curl definition with this is bomb it's bomb i have to do a tutorial one day like showing you guys maybe like a bantu knot or something where you can see 
just how well it defines your curls because it's actually excellent and it does soften the hair quite a bit i i really loved this product last year and the last line is from b Kikoa. this is a brand that i've shared with you guys in the past i know a lot of people ask are you sponsored are you getting paid why you keep talking about them uh because i like them because their stuff works because she's really nice because it's black owned there's so many reasons why i love this brand and i've never ever ever gotten paid for a single thing i've ever shared with you from this brand ever so i just find it important to support black businesses to support people who really put their heart and soul into their work i'm gonna support everything that works for my hair number one but if you work and you're black owned and you're a small business i'm definitely gonna talk about it because it's important now this is the smoothing leave-in conditioner and i've had this for a while now it's a very thin lightweight conditioner I would not say this is like the best leave-in conditioner for someone with my hair texture because it's so thin. I like this leave-in conditioner for when I'm going to do any kind of like a blowout or if I do not want residue. You know when you have a certain style that you're going to do for your hair, if you have an event, you need, you need it to come out good. I reach for that because I know I'm not gonna get any flakiness. I'm not gonna get any weird stuff. It's such a thin consistency that it's perfect for when you're gonna blot your hair. It also has glycerin in it, so it does soften your hair. It smells nice, even though I can't remember how it smells. Yeah, it smells nice. It smells like something in Hawaii. So it does have like a nice beachy kind of smell to it. Very lightweight fragrance, so you can really barely smell it. But it is beautifully formulated. It works really well, and the results are always consistent. So I loved, loved, loved this product. And then of course, who would I be if I did not mention? This particular Tamanu oil came out last year, and it's the Vanilla Infused Tamanu Blend. If you guys know anything about me, then you should know I love vanilla love vanilla anything with vanilla i'm pretty much guaranteed to like it if you guys are not familiar with tamanu oil i have an entire video kind of talking about what it is what it does for you but tamanu oil is a very very potent rich oil and it's used to help with pretty much everything every skin problem every hair problem i use it on my edges to be able to grow them back in it's been wonderful for my life and the only complaint i had originally was the smell it just wasn't a pleasant smell and like i said i like to oil my scalp usually in the morning when i'm running out the house so i like things that are tolerable for my work day and this actually smells really good you can still smell a little bit of the herbal like the tamanu the nut you can still smell it a little bit but it is masked with that vanilla and it's not like a cheap vanilla either it's like a real real vanilla and I'm not 100% sure like what kind of vanilla she put in it but this particular tamanu oil is from the island of Huahini, which is over by Tahiti and Tahiti is known for their vanilla like they're the hub of vanilla and I do think that it smells like Tahitian vanilla it smells so good but the oil has been fantastic for my edges that's really the only thing I use it for right now because it is a pricey oil and I don't want to overuse it but this is something you guys should definitely check out um, like I said it's a black owned brand they put their heart and their soul and their love into making sure you guys get quality products so definitely check it out the only other thing i wanted to share with you guys that you can probably guess is jamaican black castor oil if you guys are natural even if you're not even if you're relaxed if you don't have jamaican black castor oil you should because it is a wonderful oil for thickening up your hair and also for growing back your edges if you can get past the smell and if you can actually get yourself to use it consistently, then you will see results. So I love that oil and it's always in stock. I always grab for it. Um, I do have like a little oil mixture that I make for oiling my scalp. It includes that and tea tree oil all the time. Those two are always together they're married and that is all my loves that's it those were my favorite products of 2017 if you guys have used any of this stuff please let me know how you liked it and let me know what your favorite products were i haven't been exploring as much as i used to with natural hair brands now that i know it works for my hair it kind of seems pointless to try new stuff unless i already know from you guys that it's good i'm not really going to be um 
looking for new products <laughs> so please let me know what you guys use I know people have asked in the past if I use TGIN thank god I'm natural if I use their products I have used their products in the past I'll link videos below to the videos I've done with that brand and I really enjoyed using them I haven't used them recently but they were very good products from what I remember for those of you guys who were curious about that so like I said if you have any questions let me know but if you don't big kisses to you all Mwah! thank you guys so much for being a part of my YouTube family I love you guys so much if you haven't subscribed be sure to do so on your way out and I will see you guys soon in the next video peace love and light